Hello everyone, Sharla here at the Kipling Public Library branch. We are making indoor snowmen this week. And so in your take and make bag, kids, you will find some in, um, clay for your indoor snowmen. And now this clay, you can use it over and over again if you'd like to, like Play-Doh, if you put it away in the plastic bag when you're done. Or if you wanna keep your snowman, the way you've made it, you can leave it out for 24 hours, which is a whole day, and that will make it dry to the touch. And if you leave it for 72 hours, which is three whole days, then it'll dry all the way through to the middle and your snowman will stay just the way you've made him um, because he will have dried out. Now, I didn't do a video this week for our take and make bag, but I did wanna give you a couple of pointers. You can just stick your beads and your sequins and things on your snowman, but it helps if you glue them on because then they stay a little bit firmer. You could also use markers on this clay that was kind of a fun point. The other thing is, is if there are some things that you have around your house, craft supplies and things like that, that you'd like to use, please go ahead and use your imagination with that. You can also go outside and find some things to add to your snowman. So I'd found these sticks outside for his arms, or maybe you want to use pine cones, or if you find some little pebbles or things like that, um, you can do that. So have a great time doing this craft. I hope you enjoy it, and I can't wait to see what you've all made. So happy crafting, and if you would like to leave a picture of what you've made in the comments, that would be wonderful. Take care. Goodbye.